Products in this video were provided to the author to do a review. All opinions are 100% authors and authors alone. Hey guys, this is your friend Iggy back again. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to install Windows 10 on the WD Black 1TB SN750 M.2 NVMe PCIe SSD. Now, this is part of the darkest light build. So in that, I have the EVGA Z390 dark motherboard. Now, you may not be able to see the drive, but it's actually underneath the EVGA GeForce RTX 2080 XC Ultra gaming card. And don't freak out. I've tested it a lot. It actually doesn't get that hot. But we can save that for the review itself. Again, this video is to show you guys how to install Windows 10 on it. But anyway, let's get in front of the screen and let's get started. All right, so with the drive already in the machine, the first thing we're going to do is we're gonna go ahead and turn on the machine and we're gonna go into the BIOS. Your BIOS might look a little bit different if you don't have the EVGA Z390 Dark. Okay, so here in the BIOS, we're gonna go into Enter Setup. This might look a little more familiar to you. So in here, we're gonna go all the way to the boot menu. First things first, here under boot mode select, make sure you're on UEFI. The other option here is legacy, okay? So at first you might see, okay, boot option one has my thumb drive in it. I don't see my drive here. Ah, okay, well, it's probably under, wait, I don't see my drive here at all. Don't freak out, your drive's still there. So we're gonna go back to advanced then we're going to go to NVMe information page. In here we can see that we have two different drives. One is on a PCIe card, that's the 512 gig. And then the other one is actually on the M.2 slot on the motherboard. And that's the Western Digital 1 terabyte black drive, the SN750. Okay, so right here we can see it. So let me show you how to make that work. So just F10 to save and exit if you had to select UEFI. I also moved the thumb drive. Okay, so the thumb drive is the main boot drive right now. So that's gonna go ahead and boot to the Windows 10 install. All right, so then on this screen, make sure to select your language, time and currency, and keyboard and input method. For me, all default and click next then click install now. Okay, here we're gonna enter our Windows 10 key. I'm not gonna enter it in right now, I'll do that later. So I'll click, I do not have a product key. But if you did, you enter your key and press next. Then here you're gonna select your version of Windows 10. For me again, it's Windows 10 Pro and click next. Okay, and then make sure to read through the licensing term incredibly important all right i got it and then click i accept the licensing terms and click next then select custom install windows only advanced okay so here might be the tough part for you guys if you have a bunch of drives installed in the machine like i do you might not know which one to to use okay so if this is a clean drive it's never had windows on it you're going to select the unallocated space drive, unless you have another unallocated drive in there. But so we can see here that drive zero is a 500 gig. Drive one altogether is a 500 gig. So this partition, this partition, and this partition are one drive. Drive two, unallocated space. Drive four is partition one, my book, that's my external USB drive. So I'm going to select drive to unallocated space and click next. All right guys, so at this point, all the files have been transferred, everything's been installed. 
few more things we need to set up. But now after the system reboots, we're gonna go ahead in the BIOS so I can show you something a little special. Okay, then here just press R to restart or click restart. All right, and then hit delete to go into the BIOS. All right, now at this point, I'm gonna go ahead real quick, remove the thumb drive. Okay, so now we enter the setup. We go back into boot. Now we can see here, hard disk, Windows boot manager. And if we go down here, now we have a UEFI hard disk drive BBS priorities. And we can see here, it's the Windows boot manager WDS100T. That's the one terabyte. So after you've installed Windows on it, this section creates itself in the BIOS. So now at this point, we can just hit F10 to save and exit, although we don't really have to save anything. Now we're gonna do the uh, setup for Windows. All right, so here we're at the very beginning. We have our lovely assistant, which I wish they would get rid of, but anyway, that's just me. All right, so this is my region, United States, click yes. Keyboard layout, US. Of course, for everything, select your own region and your own keyboard. Add a keyboard layout or skip, skip. And Ethernet's not connected. That's fine. Skip for now. That just means you'll need Ethernet drivers a little, a little bit later on. So then enter whatever name you want. I'll just name mine Iggy and I'll enter my password and confirm it. Then if you don't enter in, which I should have, but if you don't enter in an email for that, it's gonna ask you security questions. So let me do that real quick. All right, and if you want Cortana, choose yes, but I choose no. You can change all this, but it doesn't really matter too much, so click accept. Look at that. Now we're in Windows. All right, so that's it. It only took a few minutes and I'll go ahead and post below on the screen how many minutes it took. But you can see it only took a few minutes from start to finish to start installing Windows on the drive, configure it in the BIOS and be done with it. So pretty quick, pretty simple. And then now all we have to do is install drivers and then use Edge to install Chrome or Firefox. But anyway, all right guys, that's about it for now. Again, this is Iggy with the Darkest Light Build showing you guys how to install Windows 10 on the WD Black 1TB SN750 M.2 NVMe PCIe SSD. If you have any questions or concerns, please do ask me in the comments below. And as always, please do click like and subscribe. It helps me out tons. See you guys. Products in this video were provided to the author to do review. All opinions are 100% authors and authors alone.